uh, of course, we have uh, Dmitry. He is help desk team lead in company Genesis. So, few words before we begin about CloudFresh. We are an international company. We are Google Cloud uh, premier partner in uh, Europe. We have few products on our stack, kind of uh, Google Cloud, Zendesk, Asana, and GitLab, and we also providing in the full kind of support in terms of the implementations, training, administration, and so on in Google Workspace. And yeah, last thing before we begin to actually the topic of our webinar, yeah, we also uh, prepared some kind of uh, three gift certificates for you guys for Google Merchandise Store for 150 uh, pounds. Uh, the best three questions that we're going to receive from you uh, will be granted with this gift certificate. So please be active, ask questions in this uh, chat. Yeah, we are waiting for them. And of course, we're going to cover them in the end of this uh, webinar. So we're also waiting for your uh, questions. And uh, also, all of the attendees, you have a chance to receive from us one hour for free Google Workspace cert, um, uh, uh, kind of uh, one hour yeah, of consultation of any topic related to, to the Google Workspace as it's written on the slides. So please just uh, give us a message to our email yeah, and you will have this possibility. And of course, there are some businesses yet yeah, that uh, we are working on with Google Workspace, especially with Genesis, which uh, we discover more in the last slides of our webinars. And uh, here I would like to pass the word to Anna. Yeah, she's again the CEO Google Workspace Territory Manager. Hi, Anna. Are you ready to present to cover the slides? Hello, everyone. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so stage is yours. Yeah, let's okay. go. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is keeping warm and healthy uh, in those days. Uh, I will jump right into the topic because I have a lot of materials to cover and um, I will be talking about uh, what's next in the productivity and the hybrid world, uh, just talking from the perspective uh, of Google. Uh, okay, so next slide. Thank you. Uh, so uh, as uh, big techs, sorry, no, no, no previous one. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So as all the big tech companies are uh, setting up the, the trends um, uh, in, in our technology world, uh, uh, Google believes that the shift uh, to the hybrid world has happened and, and there is uh, no comeback uh, from that. Uh, and we believe also that the success of the companies uh, in this competitive world is defined actually by the ability uh, to adapt to the changing world and uh, keeping up with implementing uh, the new digital technologies. Uh, and at, at Google, we also used to say that the only constant is actually the change. Um, and uh, the shift uh, to this hybrid world was uh, once in the generation such a disruption for the millions of organizations. And we strongly believe that the Google Workspace is both for that moment, moment because it can actually support you with this transition to the, to the hybrid world. Uh, next uh, slide, please. Uh, so basically, right now, um, uh, we have a 3 billion uh, users of Google Workspace and, and 8 million of uh, paying customers. Uh, and actually, the, um, the organization don't choose Workspace simply to replace their existing tools, but they also choose, uh, choose it to transform the way, uh, the way they work. And this is like this transformation that um, to the hybrid world. Uh, that we are also doing right now. And it's not only about the numbers, it's also about the people and the organization. And, and our mission actually here is to 
meaningfully connect people so they can create, build, and grow together. And this is really important to us uh, to talk about it because it is in the DNA of Google. And uh, you can see um, actually the, the the whole product, Google Workspace at itself, it's built and created with the user at the center. This is why Google Workspace is so simple. It's very user-friendly and uh, it's created to actually help you to build, to increase the productivity, to bring also some more fun and joy into the work, and also to support you uh, uh, in the distributed work, uh, kind of work and in the hybrid, hybrid uh, work. Uh, next slide. And, uh, the and it's not uh, just uh, you know the nature of work actually that is changing this is also important to say but it's also the the workers who are doing this work that are changing and their expectations so the millenn millennials and the generation z have grown up actually using um, uh, new technologies right like google workspace and they expect and they strongly prefer to have the new technologies and also the hybrid work in the workplace. So uh, I also was reading some researches and some studies that are showing that uh, after the pandemic, bringing back the people to the office, it also uh, caused some high turnover and losing the employees, which also generates the extra costs. So I really strongly believe that we really strongly believe that adapting to this new new reality and the hybrid world uh, is very crucial to not only compete with the um, in on the market but also keep uh, the good talent. Uh, and uh, here the slide shows that seventy five percent of the re recent college graduates prefer to work not only with Google Workspace but in general with the new technologies. And now I shortly would like to tell you also how the Google uh, Google works and how we uh, also adapt to the new reality and the hybrid work. So basically, company uh, basically in the Q1 2021 we moved uh, fully remotely, right? When the pandemic kicked in, then we had the phase of hybrid uh, hybrid work depending on the country and uh, how the offices were opening or not. And then uh, we were coming back to the office until the Q1 2022, and right now. Now we have we are in the hybrid phase, uh, testing the hybrid phase, and we strongly believe this is this is the way we are going to keep uh, into the future. And there are the three important, let's say, uh, teams uh, to point out. Uh, it's on the next slide, Oleg. Uh, that uh, around the hybrid work. So first, um, it's uh, important to mention what I said already, right? The, that the employees are actually expecting from us uh, to work in this hybrid work, to work at least uh, two days per week from home. But then on the other hand, um, there's a, a very important aspect to mention, the human aspect. This is why this is not the full remote work, but the hybrid work, because it's still this human aspect that is important for us to, to, to connect with the people, to meet in person, to build the trust within the teams, uh, to build the culture so you know the work is going to be better and there will be also the better and higher productivity uh and uh, well the the work is no longer a place and uh, this is i think the very valid statement and uh, already an estimated 83 percent of the executives expect to support some level of uh, of the hybrid work and then when we talk also about the Google distributed work, so even before, uh, even the pandemic fastened this, uh, you know, new hybrid world, before pandemic, we're working fully rem uh, in the office. Uh, Google is also very popular for their offices uh, across the globe, but we had already a distributed work uh, workforce and three to uh, five Googlers um, had already uh, one on, uh, or more critical collaboration in different locations so we were spread it right and one in two meetings were uh, um, including googlers in more than one location three in 
for documents that were already shared. So actually this transition to, to hybrid world, it feels kind of natural. And right now the Google approach to the hybrid, uh, it's to, on the next slide, Olaf, please. Uh, it's actually to have the three days in the office and then the two days is working from what is best for the employee. Apart from that, we have this work-life balance approach. So there's a, a low meeting day uh, that um, foster the well-being, right? Uh, which we usually set up for Friday, but also it depends on the team and, and, and how they work. There is also possibility to work four weeks uh, from anywhere uh, per year. So basically it can be from the home country, from seaside, from the I don't know somewhere in the forest and uh, until you have the access to the to the internet uh, it's good um uh, and uh in the in, in terms of the flexible location so during pandemic a lot of people um basically moved to different places so there was a possibility to apply for uh, to move to another office or to do the remote work full remote work but this is only for mostly i would say for the uh, engineers but uh, i would like to talk also about the uh, the offices and how the google right now adopts the, uh, adopt those offices so basically um i couldn't really put um and how it's going to look in the future because i was the uh, interior materials so i'm missing the slide but basically uh, google is creating more uh, uh open sp creative spaces with the ad hoc desks so right now already the desks are not assigned to the employees so we can we can basically choose where to sit but there will be more creative open spaces to also sit together with the team and work together in one spot um, throughout the whole day with the team to be to fasten a little bit also more of the collaboration and brainstorming so we really believe that you know this in-person connection is still uh, it's still important and for that we also uh, uh we also adapt those offices um and uh, uh, also with the hardware uh because uh, to to you know not exclude people who are also outside of the office but this is something that also Ole is going to talk a little bit more uh, uh, around it uh, but I also wanted to mention that apart from you know software hardware the Google uh, Google uh, offices and adoption of it there is also the wide spectrum of uh, of let's say practices that uh, together with you know with implementation of the software you can implement also also to the culture so like the best practices for uh, for basically uh, the hybrid and um, hybrid work uh, and remote work i would say but uh, I would like to right now switch and talk a little bit more also about the Google Race Workspace uh, product and and uh, and the functionalities and what we invest in to make this hybrid work uh, easier. So first pillar is Smart Canvas. So there was a a uh, high investment in making documents uh, come alive. And the second pillar is immersive connection. So to bring people closer together. And the third pillar is the zero trust security. So to protect the data and threats um, uh, from threats and from the risks. Um, so talking about the smart canvas, smart canvas uh, give you um, uh, the possibility with the simple mention to bring uh, in the recommended people and data from across the workspace. Uh, and it can create basically the workflow so teams can stay focused instead of switching between the different uh, applications. You can see here, uh, here the example also the, on the, in, the, in the interactive um, picture. It can be uh, the, the, the smart chips, it can be some blocks, some templates that you can add, some ch checklist, uh, uh, and that basically makes your work uh, faster and, and, 
simplify it. Uh, the next one is the built-in summary. So basically, the AI analyzes the document and creates the short summary of the document um, uh, based on the on the content that is uh, that is in there, and then the custom and custom building blocks. So basically, you can uh, you can build. Uh, your uh, your blocks, your components, uh, uh, to save time and uh, and uh, work more efficiently. Uh, this is still like within the smart um, smart uh, canvas, right? And uh, you can basically create custom image drives. You can create product description. You can create pictures custom templates and many 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 more uh, things uh, apart from that we also extended the smart canvas to the google sheets uh, with files and uh, calendar even chips and also the timeline view so the timeline view basically can also uh, provide the teams an easier way to manage uh, the things like uh, marketing campaigns like project milestones, schedules, and, and cross-team uh, collaboration uh, uh, remotely. And, uh, and the last one for the smart covers is a smart chip data extraction. So you can also uh, extract um, the data and populate in a spreadsheet uh, with the data from uh, smart chips like files, like people, and, and maps. So this is around the smart canvas and uh, right now around the bringing people uh, closer together uh, with the immersive connections. This is the investment around the Google Meet because we believe that this is uh, a very important part uh, to do the remote work. So what's new in here is the companion mode. Uh, that's very interesting. Um, uh, which allows the in-room attendees. Uh, so if we have the meeting in-room, some people are uh, connecting to uh, right remotely, but then still there might be some people in the room. So when we have the audio in-room already and the video, we can just join as a companion in the companion mode, just to be able to see uh, even on our private devices, on our phones, private phones, just to see the materials or uh, participate actively into, into the meetings by raising uh, the hand or, or using the Q&A uh, pool. Uh, then we have also automated meeting transcription, which is, I think, amazing. So basically, it makes a note out of the meeting. So everything that is said is also creates a tra transcription, which is uh, available after, after the meeting. So we don't really... Uh, uh, have the need of making notes anymore. So apart from recording the video, we can also have the transcription uh, from the meeting. Right now it's in English, but there will be also more uh, more languages uh, soon as well. Then there are also improvements for the large meetings. Uh, we scaled the Google Meet to 1,000 attendees. Uh, we also added the Q&A and pulls into the live stream because uh, before it was only in the Google Meet. And we also made made it possible to make a live stream public event. So basically, when the Google admin, uh, uh, let's say, uh, turn on this uh, this uh, possibility, the employees can make the live stream uh, to the public via uh, via the YouTube. Uh, another one is a very interesting and creative speaker spotlight. So uh, that to make to make it a little bit more creative during the presentations apart on the slide apart from this uh, static part uh, and 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 the uh, information we have on the side we can also use the speaker spotlight so basically the speaker is visible in a circle uh, in uh, in the moment life basically uh, so that's that's around bringing people uh, so together, and now more about the the security um, aspect. Um, uh, so once we set up you, uh, once you set up yourself um, up for the success in the hyper world, we also make sure that your data is protected, and there is a. Um, 
a tendency to say that the, uh, securing people in data in the hybrid environment is it's much more cha challenging than before. And that will be true uh, if uh, you are running on the system that was built on the legacy pre-cloud era. But the Google Workspace is the cloud native. It was built on the cloud from the start, from the beginning. It's uh, it's on the cloud um, uh, and it's used by uh, by Google itself. So, so it is very uh, secure. Google uh, is also, Google Workspace is also very uh, popular for their um, zero trust uh, policy uh, and uh, uh, as i mentioned we are cloud only uh, that's why we are benefiting uh, from decades um, of uh, google also deep expertise um, in the threat protection and this is uh, like the deep computer science that you basically cannot develop uh, of, uh, overnight um uh, so everything that is built in at google uh its fundamental part uh it's also uh, it's also security uh and 99.9% uh, .9 of um, uh, spam phishing up uh, uh, phishing attempts and malware are blocked by by uh, gmail this is also very very uh, well known that uh, gmail has one of the best uh, filters uh, and so you don't need to worry it's also not only gmail but also the documents so and then the google drive so you, you don't need to worry to accept accidentally open for example the document and open the door for any uh, malware because uh, uh, because it is also protected, and all of this is uh, is possible because uh, it always been uh, cloud native as well. And uh, around the the few functionalities uh, also uh, in the aspect of security, we have the trust rules in Drive. Uh, so basically, the admin can control the sharing um, limits uh, for the internal and external sharing. We have a data loss uh, prevention, so the ability to create uh, uh, the DLP rules, uh, which uh, would enable uh, scanning uh, the content and detective, uh, detecting the sensitive data, and then applying uh, different actions. And we extended it right now also to the chat um, and we have also the real-time threat protection for stopping uh, the spam phishing and uh, malware malware attacks that's something that I uh, already uh, mentioned um, and we are just using the threat intelligence from our products to um, to stop um, all the all the attacks from from the outside and then i would like to also mention about the creating no code apps with the app sheet um uh, it also uh, right now will include also chat which was not possible before uh, and uh, this gives uh, you the ability to basically create the application with uh, without without the skills or the need of coding anything to also improve the processes within the company and in our uh, hybrid new reality. Uh, so these are um, just a few simple examples out of 300, um, 300 features that has been added last year and more to come the coming next year so i would like to just invite you to con uh, contact uh, cloudfresh one of our partners cloudfresh and uh, set up the demo with them set up the trial just to just to basically uh, try it in the real life um, and and see how you can easily adapt to the new hybrid world thank you very much yeah, thank you, Anna. Thank you for the slides. And uh, yeah, Lukas, if you don't mind, please put your question in the chat. Yeah, I just would like slightly remind that we have also three gifts for the more three interesting questions. Yeah, so please don't be shy. Ask the question, and we will cover them 
in the end. So, yeah, and uh, I would like also to continue uh, uh, about uh, this hybrid work, yeah, about the future trends. Uh, as Anna already said, yeah, work is no longer pl uh, place, and it's like quite obviously you are working from home, from office, you are, can work on a go, yeah, and obviously that, uh, let's say, being kind of in a even Google Meet, yeah, you, you are able to do some other tasks. So, yeah, hybrid work is uh, really kind of uh, new reality, yeah, which for we need to adopt, yeah. So, and again, yeah, here is why the Google workspace, yeah, because it's not related to one kind of spot where you need to work. Uh, generally speaking, there are like kind of four uh, stacks across the Google workspace, yeah, like connect, create, access, control. Today, uh, in this webinar, we're going to mostly cover the connect part, yeah, because it's mostly related to the hybrid work, yeah, because people need to be... Uh, connected yeah and uh, some let's say short examples where exactly and how exactly google workspace can help you so the biggest thing that i personally like it's 171 hours saved per user per year which is actually 21 uh days uh and like uh, this is kind of let's say one additional month for each employee yeah, which Google Workspace can save for you. Of course, obviously it's a reduction of on-demand tech support needed and I guess Dmitry can like uh, in, in his slides also prove this uh, short state. And uh, Roy increase by Google Workspace, there is some specific link in the bottom of the slide so you can uh, read the report which, which says that. And uh, yeah, regarding the specific, uh, again, functionality, yeah, uh, uh, recently introduced a better home for work in Gmail that softly brings together core tools for communication like this uh, chat, email, Google Voice, which we'll cover a bit uh, later, video call, and, in, and these uh, tools, yeah, the key thing here is that they are combined into one solution yeah into one platform into one let's say window yeah which is actually quite uh i would say even simply for users to navigate in uh for example yeah as anna mentioned yeah smart canvas where like taking uh, something that people already use every day yeah with uh, ad mentions to open up new powerful collaboration capabilities yeah this uh, of course it's obvious but still yeah real time work with uh, other employees across one document history version and so on yeah in the, each of the like google docs google slides google spreadsheet uh, whatever actually the document is yeah and uh, actually yeah you can see that uh, and here the people you are working with while you collaborating in gmail and docs for example you're in a google meet you are able to share the screen yeah with the files yeah and of course uh, as it's uh, sh it shows the picture yeah you will have the google meet inside of this document spreadsheet whatever you're working on which is actually also pretty like a uh, powerful tool yeah while you're collaborating with other guys and uh, yeah a few words about the google meet and first thing it's about uh security so all data is uh, encrypted in transit by default between the client and the google for video meetings and uh, on a web browser or i don't know android or ios application uh all of the meet recordings yeah they are stored in your google drive and also encrypted uh, at rest by default and uh, key meet features such as the ability to record meetings uh automating captioning cloud-based media enhancement and so on yeah uh they also like uh, many other features yeah requested by the customer help provide the best possible user experience for video meetings and would not be possible if meet were, were to implement end-to-end -end encryption yeah and uh, of course yeah there is user side for 
uh, let's say Google Meet, and of course there is admin yeah site, and you can like uh, easily uh, setting up different policies and rules in the Google Workspace about each of the uh, course solution. But of course, for Google Meet uh, as well. Yeah, and uh, what's also very useful, it's uh, moderation control, yeah, and as it shows. Yes, yeah, there are different things, how to moderate the, let's say, large meetings, yeah, how it also can be easily done by few clicks. And uh, yeah, this is actually one of the things that I like uh, mostly, I guess, yeah, in Google Meet, because obviously not each second you could be uh, like near your laptop, yeah. Uh, more likely you are using like the mobile phone, yeah. And again, as I mentioned in the beginning of my slides, yeah, that uh, all of those solutions, yeah, like chat uh, or like Google Voice or Gmail, or of course Google Meet, yeah, they integrated into a, one platform yeah you can easily go to the meeting uh, through like your just gmail app you can like chat whatever you want uh, also through the gmail and so on which like actually save this kind of routine time for your employees yeah and it again it's very efficient for them and uh, yeah some of the um, let's say examples yeah this is like uh, live closed captions uh, it's available for few languages actually not only for the english so far it's a uh, good uh, really let's say um, feature noise cancellation yeah and uh, light adjustment yeah which is also like helpful if you are working like let's say from home or like in some specific places and uh, yeah can i can i also ask uh, gladys if you don't mind please mute yourself because we're hearing some noise on the background thank you so much yeah a few words about google uh meet hardware which were covered by uh anna in the first slides there are like a lot of different uh things yeah uh, why you actually might need the google meet hardware yeah because not each of the like video meeting you can like let's say participate with the laptop or even with your mobile phone yeah for some specific like meeting rooms yeah there is some certified uh, solutions by google from different vendors like asus acer logitech lenovo avocore and so on we will share this uh, precise information after the webinar in our slides but there are some different bundles here which you could be you can find uh, useful for yourself so again to short summary yeah we already covered gmail part chat and google voice and i would like to cover the last thing here it's google voice this is actually a, a telephony solution which as well integrated in gmail yes yeah? so you have everything in one window yeah and uh, of course you can again uh, as this is cloud native solution yeah cloud based solution uh, you can work with this google uh, voice solutions through your mobile phones your your laptop so you just need to be logging in into your uh, google account and uh, yeah as i just described yeah this slide is covered this and show where is uh, how it looks like yeah with the google uh, voice uh, just uh, like a uh, uh, short uh, state here that uh, obviously yes yeah, that uh, we uh, cloudfresh also using like google workspace we are using the enterprise plus subscription and of course we are also using google meet hardware and google voice in our daily routine work so and we really find it quite uh, useful uh, one of the also thing is uh, that voicemail also can be transcribed yeah there are a lot of the apis for example one of the apis could be speech to text api which is the part of google cloud platform yeah but all of those things that let's say firstly google developed by their own selves yeah they're also available in google workspace and here is one of the example it's the transcribed uh, voicemail and uh, yeah maybe some of the uh, uh, pixel phone users yeah know these things that uh, if you have in common call for example uh, which could be kind of suspicion, it's gonna be marked as a spam. So this uh, thing also is working in uh, Google Voice. 
Uh, Andre, if you don't mind, could you please put your question in the chat? Yeah, we're gonna cover every question in the end of the slides. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, last kind of word about the uh, security. Yeah, so I already touched it slightly. Yeah, I would like just once uh, mention that uh, security, this is kind of, I would say, uh, obviously that it's like very necessary part. Yeah, but here at the Google Workspace, yeah, security can be not just a word yeah you can like manage uh, different i would say layers of the security for example it could be uh, like uh, your just web application it could be like your phones it could be your browser it could be your laptop like i know even google meet hardware and so on there are a lot a lot of different settings yeah uh, which you can apply for different specific people, departments, rules, actions, and so on. And uh, let's say last but not least, yeah, this is the, about the cost savings, yeah, because uh, uh, here we also uh, want to add something, yeah. For example, yeah, just a short compression of uh, kind of retail prices, yeah, with the uh, box, Zoom, Slack solutions and Google Workspace business standard. Yeah, so this is kind of uh, officially uh, prices that you can find in any of the vendor web page. Yeah, and let's say storing uh, the files, uh, having meetings with the Zoom and chat with the your employees, it could be combined into one solution. Yeah, and as it shows uh, this simply graph, yeah, you can save up to 70% in monthly cost. Yeah, so uh, the numbers are quite simple. Yeah, and also I would like uh, mention here the one also really good solution. This is kind of Google, uh, sorry, not Google this time, but Microsoft, yeah, with their uh, Office 365. And here is also one of the kind of compression. Yeah, you, you might have Office E3 package, but in the same time you have, you can uh, have uh, Office E1 plus Google Workspace and it still will be cheaper than the Office. Yeah, and let's say with the same or even sometimes more uh, functionality and definitely with more flexibility across um, across the uh, solution. And uh, like th this is everything, let's say, from my side so far. But, uh, you know, I was thinking about like kind of last quote about the Google Workspace. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I guess it's going to be true if I said that. Mm, we know, yeah, already that uh, we know that there are different kind of similar solution like again Zoom, Slack, uh, uh, Office 365, yeah. And uh, perhaps it would be not fair, yeah, for us here to say that uh, Google Workspace is like kind of panacea, is the best solution in the world, and so on and so on, because like yeah, uh, you can choose whatever you want. But what we can really state, yeah, indeed, that this solution is definitely smarter. It means that your employees will have more efficient way, yeah, to collaborate, to work, yeah, and that they will more, they will be more satisfied, yeah, by doing their work than, let's say, doing this work in another solutions, kind of like we, 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 we described a few slides ago. So, yeah, definitely, workspace is. Uh, smarter yes solution because all of those uh, ai here yeah, features that are uh, implemented across all of these uh, uh, i would say application like even google calendar chat gmail uh, docs spreadsheet and so on yeah they are quite intelligent that's why yeah actually we can kind of save those 171 uh, hours per one year per one employee so again, yeah, thank you so much. This was uh, my part. And Mr. Dmitry Vasilyev, I would like to invite you to cover your slides. Are you ready?
And it will be good, yeah, if you unmute yourself. Yeah, thank you. Uh, can you hear me now? Yep, yep, please go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I will tell you today about our uh, hybrid work. Uh, our company and headquarters is in Ukraine. We are one of the largest uh, uh, global publisher of non gaming application in East Europe. More than 300 million users worldwide download the company's product. Um, next slide, please. Uh, our founder is Vladimir Novletny, co-founder Vlasily Vsevilianov and uh, Vitaly Lapanak, our CEO Artyom Popov. Uh, our company mission is to create and develop global technology business together with the best interference in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, today we work with in education um, way and uh, in uh, charity uh, foundation uh, with Ukrainian government. Next, please. Yes. Uh, we have more than 25 projects uh, in four areas. It's mobile applications, online media, classified, and R&D. Uh, areas of activity of ecosystem companies is Hatch, Game Dev, Health uh, and Fitness, maybe you know better me. They have a lot of wins uh, this year uh, with their application. Lifestyles, news, and entertainment media. Uh, our partner, but to me, a plan is our. Uh, it was our startups a few years ago. Now they, it's a. Um, um, sorry, I don't get the word. Uh, um, it's a, Let's say they are not, not more the startups. Yeah, yeah. yeah not more in Genesis, yes. uh, So the gay social tech works and headway. Uh, okay, next please. Uh, Genesis is founded in 208. Uh, in 211, Genesis enters the Africa market. Uh, we have the contract of colleagues, but in Africa market. Um, in 2016, Horizon Capital invested in Genesis. In uh, two, uh, 218, Genesis grows to 800 employees. Uh, in this moment, we have the more than 3,000 employees. Yes, 2,000 in Ukraine and more in uh, Africa, uh, USA, and other markets. Um, you can uh, next slide, please. Yes. About me, uh, I am structural engineer, uh, but in company we call me Handes Team Lead. But we have a lot of work with infrastructure. That's why um, uh, many who call me infrastructure engineer. Uh, in last, I was former network engineer. I worked in this more than five years. Um, you can tell me about my contacts, you can see in the slide. I will tell you about CloudFresh and Gmail and Workspace. Uh, okay, uh, when we are uh, looking for some solution, oh, we have three um, main uh, goals. We need that all our paperwork was online. We need. Uh, we were needed to set all our uh, documentation for security, and we have access to them. We can uh, see who actually works with our documents, who can um, who share them, and we need storage and meetings. Uh, many of our media teams have a lot of files, and they work with them in hybrid form, some of them in the office, some of them in the Europe, some in Ukraine, and they need 24-7 actual uh, access to this uh, media file that, that they can work with them. And it is uh, the meetings, because um, in this moment, many of our employees, however, uh, they work from different places, and we need to be in touch with everyone. Um, we need to uh, use calls, we need to use uh, recordings. Uh, it's one of the future uh, features of a meet, meeting. Um, and we need to be in touch at 24 for 7 because uh, many of our employees is, uh, work in uh, different time zones. Uh, that's why we need to be in touch. Next, please. Yes. 
that's why we use uh, we uh, that's why we decide to use uh, google because we have a lot of uh, solution in one place uh, we have emits we have uh, documents we have the sheets calendar we have the mailbox and that's all in one cloud platform uh, where you can access 24 for seven uh, that's why Google uh, becomes the entry point for our uh, old work. At this moment, we have uh, more than 1,000 calls per day. We have education platform and we use uh, Meet for our education. We're recording uh, our uh, lessons, our Meets, and use them in the future when we uh, educate a new uh, employees, uh, new colleagues, uh, and you students because we work with the many university institutes and others education platforms uh, at this moment we use 88 terabytes of data storage um, most of them half of them it is shared drives because our media team works with uh, shared files uh, and they work with them in the cloud they can download if it needs they can store it and work together with one shared uh, form, folder if they need it um about security we uh, we um use audit in google workspace to uh, see who with which documents work we need to know uh, which document was shared to the, out of our company or use it in inter uh, in uh, inside our company if someone shares document with the uh, um, so person we will know about it we will send this information to our data security officer and we'll check this document there is some sensitive information. Is this document is uh, um, high level of risk? Uh, if uh, people who work in our company care share this document, it's a very cool uh, future with, in Google because we can uh, monitoring uh, why, uh, the leaks of some documents and uh, very quick uh, can solve some problem with this. Because my, there was some cases when people just for mistake uh, 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 open access to the document to the all in the internet, and we saw that and then, hey, what what are you doing? You need to close this document to access to the internet uh, and access. Um, some of our projects use uh, Google uh, with Sample. Uh, it uh, gives them access to their uh, platforms in third part like Slack, um, Azure, and other. Uh, and mobility, it's one of the uh, main future because uh, in this moment, uh, many people separate from uh, about the Ukraine, about uh, the Europe, and uh, mobility uh, gives us a very good, uh, um, um, a very good, um, Ah, sorry. <laughs> and mobility, it's uh, one of the major um, features that, that we are using. Because uh, many people uh, have no internet, they, call, they can uh, call to the meeting by the TL-in, uh, which uh, exists in uh, Google. Um, some people use meeting every day uh, to ch uh, check ups, to, call, uh, to um, some work processes and others. Um, and um, you can uh, turn next slide. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, about CloudFresh, we work with CloudFresh more than three years. Uh, for this period, we have a lot of touch and other questions. Um, the um, CloudFresh uh, touch team is very, uh, is very good, really. It helped us for a many question about uh, some um, uh, introducing uh, to uh, about some tech specification of Google Workspace, how can we do some uh, internal stuff and other. Now, from my point of view, CloudFresh, one of the best Google partners, uh, cast, uh, because they are customer focus, high level tech team, and diligence to help us what makes the company stand out. Uh, the more than three years with CloudFresh, um, we have a lot of work with our Google CloudFresh. They help us with our integration of some processes, uh, help with uh, education, because um, Google Workspace have a lot of futures. Um, that's all I, what I can tell about CloudFresh. Uh, next slide, please. 
Uh, for more information, you can please uh, contact. You can contact with our Alexander Petronok. It's our Genesis PR director, uh, and uh, you can contact with me using by separate uh, uh, social media. Uh, and you can touch me in the Telegram, Instagram, Facebook, or uh, LinkedIn. Yeah, thank you, Dmitry, for your slides, for warm uh, words. Really, we, we are really trying our best to to help because, yeah, as you mentioned, really Google Workspace has a lot of the functionality and the features and so on. <laughs> and yeah, thank you again, Anna. Thank you, Dmitry. And here is the time for our Q and A uh, session. I saw some question in the chat. So let's uh, quickly go through the question. And as I mentioned in the very beginning yeah, of the presentation, yeah, uh, we're going to choose three, uh, let's say, most uh, interesting questions. Yeah, and uh, we'll present kind of the gift, yeah, for Google Merchandise Store. It, it's going to be gift certificate. So, uh, <clears throat> Uh, let's start. I see that the first question was from uh, Lukas, and the question is, I'm an advocate of uh, offline work where everyone is uh, in the office, mainly for the effectiveness and comfort of collaboration work. So, going into the future, do you think remote work will be a learnable skill that many will embrace, or will it be about preferences as it's now for many people? Uh, from my point of view, yeah, thank you for the question. This is kind of interesting question. And I guess, I guess, honestly, this is about the uh, new skill. I don't think uh, that, like, you need, like, to choose uh, will you have the skill or will you not have the skill. I guess you have to have it, yeah, nowadays, yeah. Because as the reality shows, you, you can be, with, like, in some, not only, you can work not only in the office, yeah, you cannot work on, not only in the home. Yeah, you can be in the queue and the groceries and reply to somebody's email. Yeah, and uh, I guess that uh, this type of hybrid work, this is not only about the tools, this is also about the uh, culture. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, I guess definitely it's one of the key thing in near future. Yeah, for all of the employees that they need uh, to have. And uh, yeah, again, thank you for the question. Uh, Stefan, I, I yeah, yeah. Well? yeah, 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 go ahead. Let me also add, so, uh, so yeah, Lucas, thank you for your question. I totally agree that uh, also uh, around the collaboration and the effectiveness that, uh, you know, the, the human, human presence is still and, and touch is still important this is what we do actually this is why we are not talking about the full remote but we are talking about the hybrid and um uh, we still uh, see and you know at google that you know uh, this in-person meeting, it's also crucial to build the connection within the people, right? But uh, when it comes to to the remote work, this is a skill that is learnable, definitely. Uh, there are also even different kinds of certificates that you can do around it, but uh, uh, I believe this is important to remember about the implementing not only the software, but also the specific processes and, and best practices. Uh, so this is why we are talking not only when we talk about the Google Workspace, this is why we are talking also about the changing of the way uh, you are working, because uh, we are also promoting at Google also the, the practices. Um, so then I can also touch base uh, also around the, you know, Microsoft, like which is and uh, another question which is you know uh, more rigid and more uh, difficult to use the google workspace is more simple uh, to use and uh, uh, together with the best practices that we are sharing and this is actually that you can learn and you know adopt to um uh, to, you know to to this new reality to the hybrid hybrid work and actually on one on the conference i i attended uh, i remember this year uh a lot of uh, sessions was also around you know what the techno te how the technology is changing the world and how important it is to actually cultivate and learn the skills and the skills that are going to be important in the new words right uh, technology word it's uh, first the 
the ability to adapt to the changes, uh, the high em emotional intelligence, um, and, uh, and basically, uh, yeah, the skills to adapt, right? So to adapt to the new reality, to the new hybrid, hybrid uh, world. So I guess it's not that the question if it's going to be, but how we can actually do it to to adapt uh, to the to the new world and the new norm which is going to which is going to happen because our kids and and the young generation is grew up uh, in this in this kind of world and this is what it's going to be expected that's that's for me thank you yeah and we, in the end of the day we don't know when the new type of covid will appear yeah so you never know you never know yeah so um Thank you, Anna, yeah, for your answer yeah, as well. And uh, I see another question from Stefan. It's uh, uh, how, we, how uh, can we promote hybrid work in the manufacturing sector? What are the best practices? Yeah. Uh, so here, like obviously, yeah, manufacturer sector, it's a bit uh, different thing from IT or something like that. But uh, of course, you have some, let's say, um, in office workers. Yeah. And even those people, yeah, they need to to cooperate, yeah, among each other. It's not only about like to make a calls, yeah, or go and find some people, yeah. It's also about to create the docs processes and so on. And uh, there are even specific, I would say, type of Google Workspace, yeah, which can help exactly manufacture sector. Yeah, there are a lot of the uh, customer uh, stories about this. There are a lot of the information, yeah. And uh, Stephanie, if you don't mind, we also can share this information from you. Just like uh, give us a short uh, email at our uh, hi at cloudfresh.com. But in short, yeah, this is also like uh, I would say type of the industry where more or less this uh, functionality of Google Workspace also, uh, I guess it's crucial, yeah. And yeah, I guess, I can I yeah. add some? Uh, yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. Sector? Okay. Uh, we have a case a few months ago, we worked with one manufacture, manufacturer um, company and we, we were in touch with Google Meet. We have a lot of our, um, we have a lot of um, meets in our Google Calendar. We share with them uh, with docs by using uh, Google Sheets. Uh, it's one of the cases uh, where we use it uh, Google. Uh, maybe if you have uh, some legal team, some um, finance, uh, financial team, they can use uh, Google, use mailboxes, use uh, documents, use meets for, the, uh, for work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Anna, yeah, you would like yeah, to add. Yeah, I wanted to add, uh, add as well. I think we can all agree that, of course, there are some, you know, some, uh, let's say, uh, roles that we cannot do uh, remotely, right? Because, for example, I don't know, on the production, right? That there need to be uh, physically some people, but maybe even those people, they might have some, you know, um, administrative work that they can do remotely. But it's not only about this, because then maybe it's that like Google Workspace could connect also those people on the production with another teams right to have the better communication with the other teams with the financial team with the um i don't know product team or whatever or even if you have the two two different i don't know productions right two different uh, uh, factories to embrace for example i don't know cross factory a brainstorming session which are going to be online because uh, they are in the different locations uh so i would say yeah not not all of the you know uh, works you can do uh, roles you can do uh, uh, fully remote or in the hybrid version but um but their roles it, it depends role by role or i would say this way and and uh, the google workspace can also uh, bring the value in the uh, manufacturing sector that's what uh, i would like to say thank you yeah thank you and uh, i see a few more questions yeah let's go uh, through them as well so uh andre is asking what are the key differentiators of google workspace versus uh, direct competitor services from microsoft cisco and zoom and so on so here firstly yeah i would say that not all of them are kind of 
direct competitor. For example, Zoom. Does Zoom have the mail solution or creating doc solution? So here is the first thing, yeah. Regarding Microsoft, yeah. Uh, again, it's, uh, it's gonna be stupid to say that Microsoft is like kind of bad solution. No, this is quite a good solution. But yeah, as I mentioned in the uh, end of my slides, yeah, we consider Google Workspace as a more smarter things, yeah, which exactly about how to save employees time on the routine tasks. Yeah, here is our differentiator. Being with Google Workspace, we can say that we can help you to save up to 170 hours per one uh, year for one employee. I don't think that such possibility exists in any of like kind of uh, solution for Microsoft, yeah. So yeah, generally speaking, it's about efficiency, and smart and intelligence in all of those applications because all of these applications are integrated among each other. You can be in Gmail and you can jump into Meet. You can like be in a Google, uh, I don't know, spreadsheet and you can also, let's say, jump in a Meet or you can use like super fantastic feature which is uh, has the name Explore, which is automatically analyze and create reports basic on the data which you have in your spreadsheet so it's about again intelligence of the functionality of google workspace uh, also if i may add uh, as well here uh so yeah totally what Ole said plus uh once again microsoft is more rigid more heavy uh, product versus Google Workspace um, is built to, to make, let's say, the work simple. A lot of uh, customers I'm talking to who are using Microsoft, the employees, they are not utilizing 70% of the of the capabilities of uh, of uh, Microsoft, um, and this is why, like with the Google Workspace, it's it's much more s simpler and, and you know with the most essential, let's say. Um, you know functionalities to make your life easier and and uh, from the user perspective to have it, it just uh, you know you just jump on it and you just uh, you you can use it right away because a lot of people are so used for the personal use so it's very you know intuitive i would say uh, uh, so so this is um, this is what i would say it's a it's a big a big uh, unfair uh, over over the microsoft thank you yeah, this actually good insight about the, let's say, CX, yeah, about the customer experience here, yeah, about the interface, because in short, Gmail, 1 billion of user, Google Maps, 1 billion of user, uh, Chrome browser, 1 billion of user, Android, even more, yeah, and all of the best things across all of those platforms, they exist in the Google workspace. And uh, two more questions, yeah, quite a short one. Uh, so Mercy is asking, uh, will there be training for every new features added to the Google Workspace for a better understanding? In short, I would say that mm, sometimes, yeah, the team of Google Workspace, this is quite big and large uh, team, they do have some kind of webinars or just uh, uh, streaming about functionality, but there are also other ways. For example, there is Google uh, Workspace blog where you can also read and be uh, on a track, let's say, yeah, about uh, all of these new features, functionality, and so on. And there is also a uh, Google release calendar, yeah, which you also can track where, uh, when, sorry, and which feature will be uh, released. So in general, yeah, and sorry, the last uh, also very necessary thing, this uh, has the name Google Workspace Learning Center, yeah, where you can find, let's say, everything how to work across all of the Google Workspace uh, solutions and applications. And uh, yeah, it would be good if you also unmute yourself. Anya, I see oh, that you're yeah. speaking, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to add also that um, to learn about the new functionalities that are added uh, by Google, you can, for example, also sign up for to the newsletters to receive, you know, the update uh, the updates about, about the functionalities. Usually they're 
enough simple to also you know uh, let's say uh, learn about them themselves but also i wanted to mention about the change management and you know uh, basically when you implement the product um, uh, there's also very important around the change management to basically you know implement it and also uh, make a use out of it so there are the common practices that we do for the change management like for example choosing the champions uh, across the company that will be you know spreading the best practices across the specific teams to make a basically a better use of the you know functionality so this is also i think important uh, to remember you know uh, to this is why we are like you know what i mentioned about around promoting not only you know getting the software and Im uh, implementing it but also sharing the best practices and making uh, the the most out of it that's what i would say yeah yeah i'm totally angry on that and uh, I guess the last one question from Andro, what are the best practices for uh, archiving emails from former employees? Andro, I can say that there are like two, three different scenarios, yeah, which depends, yeah. So short one, the easiest one, it's uh, there is a specific functionality. It's like, uh, it has the name Google Workspace archived users yeah for exactly these scenarios but there are also some additional functionality which has the name google take out or in some specific scenarios you can also use uh i i think you heard about that cloud identity licenses yeah so i guess the ideal way for that would be if you can just shortly email us about this yeah to our email hi at cloudfresh.com so we're going to describe it more precise but in short it could be google workspace archive licenses google takeout or cloud identity so uh thank you so much for all of the questions and uh, yeah now it's time to select the more interested questions so dmitry if you don't mind you're gonna be the first one i can shortly remind you what were the questions if you need it or if you already choose one in the google chat you can like just announce which uh, who will be the first uh winner uh okay can you hear me yeah 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 go ahead please okay uh, I think uh, the gift must go to the Stefan Amimo with manufacture, manufacturing sector question. Okay, thank it's you. It's a very so interesting much. question. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Thank you, Dmitry. Anna, now it's your turn to select second winner. Uh, I would like to say thank you uh, to everyone for uh, for the questions, and I would like to choose uh, Lucas uh, Kaha. I hope I pronounce the name correctly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so Perfect. much. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Anna. And I'm gonna select the last one. Uh, it's a pity that I cannot select myself <laughs> because I need this switch shot. But let's try. Uh, yeah. I would uh, like to, to to give this uh, certificate for Mercy. Yeah, this uh, was a kind of also interesting question about the uh, how to know about the features because yeah, Google implement those features like uh, sorry as a crazy guys. Yes, <laughs> three hundred features uh, during the last uh, year. It's kind of insane, but in a good way. Yeah, uh, so regarding the next steps about all of those certificates you can again mail us to hi at cloudfresh or we also will reach you out with this uh gift against certificates so that's i guess everything for today i would like to say thank you for everybody for your time nowadays yeah for joining for being with us for being quite active asking the question we really hope yeah this webinar was very useful and insightful for you of course we're going to share the recording of this webinar and of course we're going to share the slides of this webinar also there will be some additional slides yeah when we will share uh, the again sorry slides yeah thank you so much uh i wish you a good week ahead yeah and uh let's uh, change 
our type of work to the hybrid one. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.